In 2024, we reached a significant recruitment milestone providing genetic testing and counseling to more than 15,000 participants. Our data identify that 13% of participants have a genetic form of Parkinson's. Hi, I'm James Beck, Chief Scientific Officer at the Parkinson's Foundation. I'm Roy Alcalé, a movement disorder specialist and the principal investigator of PD Generation. Today, we're going to discuss what we have planned for the next phase of our genetic study, PD Generation. We'll highlight what we have discovered through genetic testing and our plans for expansion, thanks to the support of the Global Parkinson's Genetic Program, a program of the Aligning Science Across Parkinson's Initiative, also known as ASAP. PD Generation is an international initiative that offers genetic testing for Parkinson's-related genes and genetic counseling at no cost for people with Parkinson's disease in English and Spanish. What it really tries to do is to make genetic testing accessible to people with Parkinson's and to their clinicians. The PD Generation test identifies variants of Parkinson's-related genes, including GBA, LERC2, Parkin, SNCA, PINK1, PARC7, and VPS35. PD Generation offers optional testing for additional PD-related genes, as well as a future opportunity for receiving incidental results that may affect one's health. These are called the CDC-10. The additional PD-related genes are genes that may be related to Parkinson's disease, rare or typical forms of Parkinson's, or overlapping neurologic conditions. This year, PD Generation has expanded to more countries and opened more testing sites with the help of ASAP. ASAP is a coordinated research initiative dedicated to accelerating the pace of discovery and informing the path to a cure for Parkinson's through collaboration, research-enabling resources, and data sharing. Through its Global Parkinson's Genetics Program, ASAP has awarded the Parkinson's Foundation a grant that is significantly expanding PD generation. With the support of this grant, our goal is to drive recruitment, allowing us to reach a larger and more diverse community throughout the United States, Canada, Latin America, and beyond. We aim to enroll an additional 8,000 participants, including 2,400 in Latin America, during the next phase of the study. Since every case of Parkinson's is different, understanding the genetics that people with PD have in common across populations could reveal key disease biology differences with the potential to lead to new treatments. PD generation has a huge impact on Parkinson's research, but not just research, also clinical practice. I think our primary goal is to make the opportunity for genetic testing in Parkinson's be part of the conversation when people are diagnosed with Parkinson's and the clinicians and people with Parkinson's will take it into account when treating or managing Parkinson's. In 2024, we reached a significant recruitment milestone providing genetic testing and counseling to more than 15,000 participants. Our data identify that 13% of participants have a genetic form of Parkinson's. Additional key findings include 7.7% of participants carried a GBA1 genetic mutation, 2.4% of participants carried a LERC2 genetic mutation, and 2.1% of participants carried a Parkin genetic mutation. All participants are informed about their genetic status through the genetic counseling component of the study. We've also identified populations in which a positive test was more likely. Those with early onset Parkinson's, high risk ancestry, such as Ashkenazi Jewish background or Spanish Basque or North African Berber, or people with first degree relatives affected with Parkinson's disease had an 18% positivity rate. The positivity rate for people without one of those risk factors was nearly 10%. Aside from these discoveries, we've also expanded to more than 100 sites and we have recruited people from all 50 US states, Canada, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Chile, the Dominican Republic and Israel with more sites coming out soon. When you and your doctor know which genetic mutation you have in relation to PD, you may qualify for enrollment in more and potentially gene-specific clinical trials. You may also help improve your PD management in the future. By completing PD generation genetic testing, you can help accelerate scientific research to improve the understanding of Parkinson's disease and potentially identify new and potentially better treatment options. People previously thought that it would be very difficult to provide the genetic counseling and testing to a population that is usually older than the general population that received genetic counseling and testing so far. And we see that there's a great uptake for it. The fact that people are interested and motivated and join in and participate and ideally act on it and participate in clinical trials that may change the way we take care of Parkinson's, that gives me the most hope. 
when I ask people who participated in PD generation, what made them participate? I think the most common answer people give is that they would like to help research. Other answers that I hear is that people say that they have Parkinson's, they want to know why. They understand that the, most of the people in PD generation get a negative genetic report, which means that they would not know why, but there is a substantial minority that will learn a lot about their Parkinson's and why they developed it from participating in the genetic study. So ideally, with PD generation, we'll discover new genetic risk factors for Parkinson's, and each one of those new genetic risk factors may be new drug target for a novel intervention that may modify Parkinson's outcomes in the future. Genetic testing can be a powerful tool to uncover biological pathways that cause Parkinson's, and this understanding can lead to improved treatments and care for all people with Parkinson's. Understanding genetic differences across people with Parkinson's can help identify clues about how and why a person's experience with the disease differs from others. Together, we can help improve Parkinson's care. To learn more about PD generation or to enroll in the study, please visit parkinson.org slash pdgeneration. Thank you.